welcome back everybody. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the channel recently. I know I've been gone for a little bit and I'm sorry that this video is so late. I mean, at the end of the day, I wanted to do some videos for Flower Expo, but I just didn't find really a time or place. And I was also really enjoying my time there. I was trying to live in the moment at Flower Expo. Um, the after party was an amazing time. I had an absolutely fantastic experience, which is what we're gonna talk about today. I am going to show you guys some clips and just a little bit of footage that is going to be from the party. But I want to kind of detail my experience because I thought it was a really cool time and I really appreciate all the fun that we had because I got to see like literally I probably saw 50 people that I knew out of a party that had like a thousand people nearly it felt like so it's really odd when you know so many people in an area and people are coming up to you and being like hey dude I watch your content or hey dude I really like your store or like all that's really crazy to me like it still baffles me that I am a semi famous I guess YouTuber-ish for my community because the Canvas community is kind of small uh, in terms of content on YouTube, but no. So to kind of get you started, I actually left Georgia at 4.45 a.m. Wednesday morning. After that, I proceeded to drive 13-ish hours to get back up to my home in Mount Pleasant where it took me about an hour, hour and a half to get ready and then my boss got into town and we both drove down to Lansing. So. Off the bat, I am currently sitting at 27-ish hours, 26 hours on the road this week. Whew. Not including any other drive time between other places or anything. That's just between, you know, the long distance and then Lansing and back, right? That's 26, 27 hours. So after I do that, I get to our hotel, we check in, and we walk to the after party. On the way to the after party, we have a guy, because we decided to walk to the after party, because we got a hotel that's like right across the road from it. So it wasn't super far, it was maybe a block. And downtown Lansing, eh, it's not the best part of town, but not the worst part. You don't, it's not like Chicago, it's not like downtown Atlanta or anything like that. It's not bad, and it was still a light outside. We're walking, and some dude just starts screaming at us and starts yelling and talking about all these obscenities and yelling slurs great time, right? So we keep our heads down and march a little bit faster, get onto the party. I get to the party, we get checked in, right? Immediately off the bat, the party's being hosted by Bloom, mind you. Um, they grab me when I get there and they immediately throw me into a dab bar, which, hey, that's what I love. So I get in there and they rush me to the dab bar. They're like, hey man, we're gonna have you try some rosin that we're about to be probably releasing here in the soon coming months. And they start dropping dabs of rosin. I'm over here just pounding rosin down, strain, strain, strain. And I'm, you know, having a good time. Then they hand me three vapes. And I look at them and I say, hey, I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna finish it by the end of the night for you, which I did, mind you. It was a half grammar and it was hash rosin and I was at a party and my nicotine vape died. So I had literally no other vape. So I just pounded down a half gram rosin disposable at the time, which, hey, shout out to Bloom for providing me with one of those and for the rosin. Then I proceed to walk over to the edible counter where there was uh, Lost Leaf Farms, who's somebody I don't carry in the store, but they seem pretty nice, selling hash rosin, or not selling, but giving away hash rosin gummies, 20s. And I go, okay, I'm gonna be back in an hour after I eat three of these. And I'm gonna see how many of these you guys will let me take before you stop. And she, the girl looks at me and goes, what do you mean? And I go, oh, you'll see. And I just grab one of each flavor and I just throw them down the hatch. That's 30, or that's three 20 milligram gummies, which puts me at 60 milligrams off the bat. Boom, just like that. Great time, right? Then I come back an hour later, do the same thing again. I did that twice and I ended up getting like 180 milligrams total throughout the whole night. Uh, which was a great time at the end of the day. It's not a super high dose for me, so it was an enjoyable experience, and the gummies were pretty decent. For being vegan uh, gummies with rosin in them, they did not taste bad at all, and they had a good texture to them. But it was just an absolutely great experience. I got to see a lot of the people I've seen, not only as vendors in the store, but also just people I've talked to on social media, and it was just a good experience at the party that got finished at 12.15. Four joints, you know, two drinks, you know, eight dabs later and all of that, we're there, we're good, right? Then I have to wake up the next morning. 
and go to Flower Expo. So Flower Expo was at a different event area and it's outdoors in the daytime. It was like 80 something degrees like yesterday, which isn't super hot. I lived in Arizona for a bit. I've lived in Georgia for most of my life. 80 something degrees isn't super bad, but as you can probably tell by my face and everything, I got sunburned pretty bad as well. I got super sunburned and honestly, I woke up the next day feeling absolutely horrendous. I could not do anything. I felt like I was gonna throw up. I felt like I was just bleh, done. And I feel like you guys probably understand when you go to an expo or any event that's outside for four hours or so and you do not wear enough sunscreen or anything like that, you're gonna get sunburnt, you're gonna get like sun poisoning and it's just not going to be a fun time. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I got to hang out with a lot of people. The amount of brands that I got to talk to and speak to and see, I think we ended up networking with around like 30 different brands. It felt like 40 different brands. There was probably about 100 total brands because it wasn't just cannabis. There was packaging companies. There was POS system companies. There was all kind of companies. There was rolling paper companies. So it was a wide variety of different brands and different kinds of elements of the cannabis industry. This was a true business to business Event, really because it was for people like us who are looking at opening a dispensary soon at the end of the year and we're working on the consumption lounge to grow up dispensary idea and everything like that so we have a great time at these kind of events because it's a chance for us to see oh this company makes carts this company makes you know and when I mean carts I mean like actual hardware so for instance C cell was there and then you had bloom obviously you had stizzy you had uh, West Coast or West Crown or Gold Crown Cure or something like that. It's one of those bigger brands up here. You had Highly Casual. A lot of Yield Distro people were there, which was super awesome because I always love Yield Distro people. We work a lot with them in store. Um, so Highly Casual, Pleasant Tea, CQ. Um, they also had Bloom, who's another Yield Distro brand. They are Stizzy and just so many different brands that were there. It was just a great experience overall. I'm I'm sad that I missed the Wednesday event, but honestly, a oh, glorious cannabis, I can't forget them either. There was so many other brands too that I'm just leaving off because I can't remember all of them. There is genuinely so much going on at Flower Expo and throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing you the little clips and everything like that so you guys can see, oh, this was like all the th stuff I saw and how busy it was and all the different parts of the expo. It was just crazy. And one of the craziest things was that every vendor that was at Flower Expo was selling their products for three dollars a piece literally like I mean every brand that had like a pre-roll or a vape or an infused pre-roll or infused flower or actual loose flower it three dollars and it was such a cool experience honestly I am just so grateful for it and I really hope that we get to do this again soon and I look forward to the next expo I'm gonna be a part of I'm gonna try to do more social media events and try to do more content creator stuff for you guys because I really want to get this YouTube channel over 10,000 over 15,000 and so forth but yeah guys that'll be everything for you today I hope you enjoyed this style of video if you did let me know down in the comments below also make sure you leave a like subscribe share with your friends tell everybody about the channel and also a huge shout out to flower expo bloom and all the other people who were there I really appreciate all the love and support and yeah I'll see y'all in the next one peace